Guess who's Bazak? See, when we last left D1PW, the kid, the natural, the pretty boy Pitbull himself, Kenny King, was left rolling around, clutching his leg. And I told you, I wasn't quite 100%, and I was not going to come back. I wasn't going to give the fans of D1PW less than 100% Kenny King. Well, guess what? I'm back, baby. And like I said before, I got one thing on my mind. That's Bruce San T. Bruce, you and I know each other very well. We beat the hell out of each other up and down the state of Florida. Well, now, on July 21st, one day before my birthday, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give myself an early birthday present. I'm gonna take that belt from around your waist and I'm gonna put it around mine. Because realistically, that's what it is to be Division One. It means to be the best of the best. Bruce, you're a big bad man. Everybody knows it. You're the MXPW champion. But the fact is, I'm gonna be the D1PW champion. I'm gonna be the best of the best. July 21st, you wanna talk about Thriller in Manila? We're gonna give those fans of D1PW something they've never seen before. We're gonna give them an epic 300 style. The fact of the matter is, when all the dust clears and all the men and the bodies are drug off, it's gonna be one thing that everybody's gonna remember. Kenny King, champion. Get down and lay down. Chuck 
Bakari. D1PW.com TV. Frank, your overall impressions for this week. I enjoyed watching 600 pounds of the world's largest athlete, maximum capacity, destroying the competition. Anyone that comes in our way, they're just going to get mowed down. He is unbelievable, Frank, and you have a great stable going. It yes, pains me to say that, but you have a great stable and some gold. We're not going to be able to take this guy <laughs> soon. Eddie Torres made a great debut this week, looking very impressive. Jason Moore continued his undefeated streak as he defeated Austin Amadeus, even with Amy Vitale. I don't think we've seen the last of those two. Very physical match. I think there will be a rematch there. And Fantastic Dantastic did the job and got his team a tag team title match oh. by defeating one half of the D1PW Tag Team Champions. That was Lifeguard Wade. Both members had their tag team partners at ringside, and Fantastic Dantastic gets the dude. They're the number one contenders now. Those two goofy morons are the number one contenders. They've got a title match coming up on television. 
They, they could be the next champions. I'm sick to my stomach even thinking about that. Well, remember, the lifeguards won the title through a gauntlet because they were held up in the first place. It's not like they're totally invincible, Frank. I yes, believe they are. They are invincible. They can beat sharks. They can beat whales. They can beat jellyfish. They can beat anyone else out there on the beach. But now they have to get ready with these superheroes. I mean, I, I don't trust the referees right here. Something funny could happen. And those two idiots could be champions. We can't have that. You're blaming the referees now. They do weird things around here. Oh my goodness lord. Anyway, you have, coming up in a future edition of D1PW.com TV, it will be the superheroes, the dynamic duo, taking on those whistle-blowing, loud, obnoxious, blowhole-puncturing, eye-gouging lifeguards in a match for the titles. And we're all hoping around here that the dynamic duo gets the job done and puts those lifeguards, whistle-blowing, loud freaks in their place. What's now, let's worry about next week. What's coming up next week? Let's talk about next week. What is coming up next week? We're going to see, once again, Sheikh Ali Azad. He's Ugh. a dangerous, dangerous man, Ugh. and he's going to destroy somebody else next week. I'm looking forward to it. I'll put a bet on this that blood will flow again next oh, week. Oh, yes. Oh, that is... Ugh. Anyway, and then what else do we have after Sheikh? In tag team action, the Cash Money Brothers, they'll be here next week. But a big, big main event, the D1PW Heavyweight Champion, the Marquee, Bruce Santee. Putting his title on the line against Jim the Anvil Nighthawk. Jim the Anvil Nighthawk makes his uh, D1PW debut right here next week as he challenges for the World Heavyweight Championship. You're seeing a past against the future. The future will prevail. Bruce Santee, he's a dominant champion, and he's going to show why next week. Don't count out Jim the Anvil Nighthawk. He still has a lot of skill left in that body. So for Fabulous Frank... I am once again George Woodle. You've been witness to the best and finest in all of professional wrestling. That is Division I Pro Wrestling. We'll see you next week.